Want to make your PowerPoint presentations more engaging? Adding audio is the perfect way to captivate your audience, explain concepts better, or even set the mood. I'm Samantha with The Productive Posse, and in this quick tutorial, I'll show you exactly how to add audio to your PowerPoint presentation in just a few simple steps. Let's dive in. Step one, preparing the audio file. First, make sure your audio file is ready. PowerPoint supports common formats like MP3, WAV, and WMA. Choose an audio clip that matches your presentation. This could be background music, narration, or a sound effect. If the file is too large, consider compressing it to avoid delays during playback. Step two, adding audio to a slide. Now let's insert the audio. Open your PowerPoint presentation and go to the slide where you want the audio to play. Next, head to the insert tab at the top menu. And then navigate to where it says audio and from the drop down, select audio from file if the file is stored on your computer. In this case, I want to download a file that's already on my, on my computer. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to select the audio file. As you can see, it's MP3. And I'm going to click insert. You'll see an audio icon appear on the slide. This is the control for your audio file. Step three, playback settings. Once your audio is inserted, let's tweak the playback settings. Click on the audio icon to bring up the playback tab at the top. Here you can select the audio to play automatically when the slide opens or when manually clicked. Next, you can loop the audio or stop it after the slide changes. Next, you can adjust the volume or even fade in and out for a smoother effect. For demonstration, let's play my audio file. For background music, I recommend setting it to start automatically and checking loop until stopped. Step four, applying audio across all slides. If you want your audio to play across the entire presentation, select the audio icon and the menu will appear. Go to playback and select play and background. I'm also going to select rewind after playing. And this is just so that if the file or the audio stops playing because it is short, then it is going to start again. So I'm just going to hit rewind after playing. The next step is to test your presentation. And you're going to do this to ensure the audio plays as expected. To do this, I'm going to go to slideshow and I'm just going to listen to it in presenter view. And there you have it. In just a few steps, you've added audio to your PowerPoint presentation like a pro. If you found this tutorial helpful, hit the like button and subscribe for more quick and easy tech tips. Got questions or suggestions? If you're not yet subscribed, please go ahead and do so. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.